Hey folks, in this session we're going to be looking at uh, solving quadratic equations and the series of videos that follows, um, I'll actually go through the whole thing, but we've got to start off with the basics first. And the basics, well, imagine this, you got solve for x if this bracket multiply this bracket equals zero. All right. Now, one of the things you need to remember about um, multiplying two numbers and the answer to be zero is one of those numbers has to be zero. So in this case, we've actually got two numbers multiplying equals to zero, which means you've either got either x plus four has to equal zero or x minus two has to equal zero. One of those numbers has to equal zero. All right. Otherwise, you're not going to get the final product of zero. So in this case, all you have to do is rearrange and find out the values for x. So for example, in this case, x is equal to 0 take away 4, so x would be negative 4. While on the other side, x is equal to 0 plus 2, therefore x is equal to positive 2. So for this answer, uh, when you have this e um, quadratic equation, all you have to say is x is equal to negative 4 and positive 2. That's basically it uh, for solving uh, a quadratic equation when it equals to 0. So let's look at another example. So in this case, I've got solve for x if x multiplied by 2x plus 3 equals 0. So it kind of, I mean, it kind of is the, follows the same principle because what you have is two numbers. Your first number is x and then your second number is 2x plus 3. Now, either the one of those brackets has to equal 0. So what we can say is x equals to 0 or 2x plus 3 equals to 0. Why? Because remember, for you to get an answer of 0, when you multiply two numbers, one of those numbers has to be 0. Now, with the first left-hand side, we don't really need to do anything. That's already done for us. But the right-hand side, we've got to rearrange to get x by itself. So we have 2x, 0 minus 3, and then 2x is equal to negative 3. x is equal to negative 3 divided by 2. So for this particular question, your two answers that you're going to get are x is equal to 0 and negative 3 over 2. And that's just the starting of how to solve quadratic equations, folks. And we'll start getting into a little bit more um, complicated ones, but it's pretty straightforward. All right. Any questions, pop it in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching.